How can you say that? Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get cancelled, bro. Today we are gonna be answering questions that people are too afraid to ask Pacific Islanders. Whoever wrote these questions woke up and chose violence. Buzzfeed said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> people ask this question? Wow. Whoever wrote this question literally was in a rugby team with Sam Warns and Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys feeling about this video? A little anxious. I feel excited. The thing about me is I love hard conversation. As long yeah. as we can be open rather than just hear it and get yeah, triggered in some sort of way. Yeah. yeah. Accountability is so important. I'm keen to clear some stuff up. Just talk about it. Uh, like a like a counseling session or? I mean, if you want, is that what you need right now? It's a go. I'll get my notepad out if you need. <laughs> Do all Pacific Islanders love KFC? I'm craving it right now. Huh? <laughs> I love KFC. Oh, there is okay. video evidence of me devouring the KFC. So you go to church and there's like Waka, Yolu, just a big box of KFC. KFC. <laughs> Yeah, at yeah, church. church. Let's be honest, okay? We love chicken. It's fried chicken. Who doesn't love fried chicken, though? It's like saying the Aussies love pies. Yeah. Although, New Zealand's got better pies. Way better. In South Auckland, where I'm from, in like one strip, there was a KFC, a Burger King, Carl's Jr., McDonald's. They literally target low socioeconomic yeah. Yeah. sort of places. So KFC's cute, but it's also like something that has been pushed on us, you know? Mm -hmm. There was no KFC in the islands. It's something we learned as soon as we came to your island. And I fucking love it. So like, it worked, okay? <laughs> Mad at you. <laughs> Why are Pacific... Oh, girl. Why Pacific Island is so big? I see if I look calculate. Mm. Look, that is a generalization, first and foremost. Genetics, way of life. You gotta consider how we got to the islands. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, it's just genetics. We're so big because of our carb intake, such as taro. Mm -hmm. Especially if you pair that up with KFC. Um, <laughs> from a Tongan's perspective, yeah. we have these things called kaipolos. Funerals, weddings, yeah. birthdays, oh, everything for Islanders we food eat. Is massive, yeah. Food is everything. Yeah, it's a love language. It's love. Yeah. What movies, TV shows, characters do you think are good representations of Pacific Islanders in your culture versus ones that miss the mark and why? I was gonna say Black Panther. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> we're just jumping cultures now. Well, let's go to the ones that miss the mark. Jonah enough from Tonga. Yeah. <laughs> So like Moana, do you like it? Uh, yeah, nah, uh, yeah. Was that a good representation of us? I mean, when Dwayne did the haka at the end, <laughs> you fucking, you saw that shit, right? I think every Maori was in the movies like, what was that? <laughs> He's trying, though. He's trying, yeah, I know, but he needs that. to try harder. Like, come on, bro. I'm not even sad once, the orator. Oh. I love Siona's wedding. Shows brotherhood. Whale rider. Oh, whale rider. Boy. Boy is How a good one. Taika Waititi. Taika Waititi. And he's dating up. Only we can mock our names. I auditioned for you, bro. Oh. And you didn't even. <laughs> oh, not shout out. Not... <laughs> <laughs> Taiko, you gotta give me another chance, bro. What do people always get wrong about Pacific Islanders? The pronunciation of my names. Oh, yeah, like two seconds ago. Taki? Ta ta Let's not bring that up. But, uh, <laughs> no. but it's, it's so important though. It is, it yeah. really is. Like really you said, it's a lot more than than just a name. I say my name's Hinanui Tarangi. They're like, oh, what's Ooh, that? Where cool. are you from? Yeah. Oh, New Zealand. I thought that was only freaking Lord of the Rings. I just think everyone just thinks that we're all related. Mm. And yeah, we're, we're, we're not. First thing that comes to mind is Pacific Islanders, especially our young boys are troublemakers. Living out west in Mount Druitt, seeing how many cop cars are around. Everywhere else I go, there's nowhere near as many cop cars driving around. And like, sure, ba there's bad shit that happens, but bad shit happens everywhere. Are uh, Maori's Pacific Islanders? What can move? No. Yes? Oh. What? What? <laughs> what? Ooh. That's a tough one, eh? Because I grew up my whole life separating the two. And I don't know why. I actually don't even understand why. Because, like, are we not? I feel like the Pacific Islanders... I think they're Pacific Islanders. Because don't they say... Because they always say Maori... And that's what I mean. In the consensus, and this is again the Western lens, category was always Pacific Island or Maori. I don't know. To, that was yeah. The, maybe we that's have an to, algebra we'll question, bro. Right? Do you feel like you are? Yeah. If your island is floating on the South Pacific, we call them whanau. Like yeah, yeah, your whanau. Hundred. But I, I, I will like admit that like Maori that I know now will say like. Maldives and Pacific Islanders, like as if we're not in the same category. We're, we're here Island. for you. We Got want you. you to be a part of us. Absolutely. If you want to be a part of us, yeah. white race are Pacific Islanders. 
How many forms have you filled out where it goes, okay, choose your race? And, and then you don't see there. Tonga or Samoa, you see Polynesia yeah, or Pacific, Pacific Islands. Island it's just like all homogenized as one. I can kind of see it when it's like, oh yeah, she's European. Yeah, you know, sure, it's like, sure, oh yeah, yeah, he's a Pacific Islander. Oh, from my understanding, it's Melanesian, Micronesian, mm. what's it called? Polynesian. <laughs> <laughs> ha, oh, the biggest uh, one. <laughs> yeah, it just depends where you are, then you can see all the races. Me and Sela, we descend from the Polynesian part of it. Do Pacific Islanders think they're superior athletes compared to the other Australian groups? <laughs> No, 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 I'm not being a dick. <laughs> Whoever wrote this question literally was in a rugby team with Sam Warns and Thomas. <laughs> I don't think that we think we're superior to anyone, point blank period. The thing about us as islanders, we, we like to share. We share food, we share laughs, we share everything. We so share partners. Yeah, I wish we would share partners. Some of the partners that I've seen, you know who you are. No, they don't think they're superior, no. but they work their asses off. Because there's that whole like tall puppy syndrome. Do you reckon us as islanders, do we, do we have that? Yeah. Be like humble yeah. yourself. Don't be better than you know. Yeah. Like, but then there's, there's some of us are trying to break out of that mold. Yeah, exactly, and that's why you have the mentality of I have to think of myself as, as superior, superior so that I can break out. Break out, mm. but it's 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 not. We don't actually think we're superior. We just are viewed as superior because we're built like brick shit houses. We do come from warrior people, so yeah. it's only work. Is being called a fob an insult? Oh my days. Fuck yeah, it is. I hated it. I'll be flex, man. In high school, I hated it. We can say that to each other. We have the lived experience. We also understand each other. You know, there's an the social context of yeah. it all. To go back on something that means so much to us with how we got to where we're at and just see us as people who came on a boat. Nah, you can't call me that. You don't own that, right? You don't have... You can't own that. Sorry. Oh, we're having a proper serious Sorry. conversation Sorry. and this man is reaching Sorry. for a clip. one? Yeah, please, actually. <laughs> If a white person called me a fob, <laughs> listen. <laughs> you're about to catch something. I might be fresh off the boat, but you're gonna be fresh in the grave. <laughs> you're gonna be a fog. Yeah. 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 I mean, if you're really like for the people and stuff, you wouldn't even use fob. Do all Pacific Islanders have tattoos? Ladies first. I don't have any tattoos. Tongan tattoos. You see it a lot less than traditional Samoan tattoos. Tattoos is. is within us, right? Like yeah, especially you guys with the moko and Yeah, all yeah, moko koi and pa moko. Whereas for us, Tongans, our traditional art form that was lost due to Christianity, mm -hmm. hence why they didn't have one. You know, the Samoans, you know, they kept that alive and going. And yeah, so the, the process of the manu and the bea, it, it takes up to a week. The markings go from like, above the hips down to the down past the legs to the knees to get that and to to wear that for your family it's it's massive quite ironically man i'm from the rap game everybody has a tattoo but the uso beats <laughs> it's facts do you have tattoos so i have one here that my brother passed away his name was dow rest in love and he's on my left arm because he was the only lefty in my family he was the most talented as all lefties are i'm a lefty yeah you make me sick <laughs> <laughs> do you code switch do you code switch when speaking to white people? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I definitely switch it up all the time. And then you know what? I switch it up when I sp I'm speaking to... To the fans. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, auntie, because when she came to the shops, I was like, why did she get that fashion chips and not the other fashion chips? My mum always used to say blend. Yeah. You know? Like blended, you know, like caught out, right? Yeah, don't um, stand out, which is the irony. Yeah. I stand out now for a living. Like. I definitely went through a phase where I understood, okay, if I act this way, it makes me look more professional. It's so like a survival technique. Mm. The concrete jungle where you have to wear the right clothes, say the right words ah. to get to the place where you want to get. Be, yeah. Once you get to that place, then you rep your culture. Yeah. Oh, like I grew up in Australia, man. I, I love my white friends. I don't feel like I have to change if I was in front of them either, either way. That was me too, like when I used to do like corporate gigs and stuff, I'd be like, oh, I gotta put on a dress, I gotta chuck on some right. heels, and I'm like, no. fuck for. I know what the lens I'm coming into the room with, and it's your choice whether you decide to see that lens. Do you speak my code or we don't Ooh, speak wow. point blank period? Like, <laughs> yeah. Why do Pacific Islanders drive around with flags on their car? It's World Cup fever, but I think it's because the islands are doing so good that's all it is. people, man. Hundreds. This was very much a Tongan thing for a while, but I'm so glad that the Samoans have now. Oh my god, <laughs> to the number of Samoan flags I've seen in the past couple of weeks. No matter which island, like I yeah. went to in New Zealand, like it was a Samoan thing. 
But everyone was bringing out their flags. The Nuweans, the Fijians, like yeah. the Cook Islands, everyone's feeling proud. I don't even know how they're tying these things on. Like, Dad's the selling the song. Hold the flag. Hold That's the your flag. job the whole day. Hold <laughs> the flag, bro. I'm so proud to be like screaming at 4 a.m. while you're sleeping. I'm so sorry. Right, right. We are so sorry. We are so sorry. <laughs> this is, I'm proud of this tongue and nose. Like, <laughs> fall in love with the culture again. Mm. Don't matter where you come from. Kiwi. We're strong people, bro. Mm. So I'm so damn proud to be an Islander. Why do white people sing Taylor Swift so loud? Hey, uh, I like Taylor Swift. Oh wait, I am white. 